The shelves of every grocery store are lined with brightly colored detergent powder packets. Some promise extra shine, others claim ultimate stain removal. But behind every scoop is a powerful industrial process that transforms raw chemicals into those fluffy white granules. Step into the heart of a detergent powder mega factory where chemistry meets colossal machinery. It all begins with raw materials, and in the world of detergent, the most important ones are surfactants. These are the key cleaning agents that break down grease, dirt, and stains. Factories typically use synthetic surfactants like linear alkyl benzene sulfonate or natural alternatives like soap noodles. Alongside surfactants, you'll find builders like sodium carbonate, which help soften water and boost cleaning performance. Add to that enzymes, fragrances, bleaching agents, brighteners, and anti-caking agents, and you've got a recipe for a powerful cleaning powder. These ingredients arrive in massive quantities. Tankers deliver liquids, while silos store the bulk powders. All materials are first tested in on-site labs to ensure purity and quality. Even a slight inconsistency can ruin an entire batch. Once cleared, the production begins with a step called slurry preparation. Here, the main raw chemicals are mixed with water in gigantic stainless steel slurry tanks. These tanks hold thousands of liters of liquid and are fitted with powerful mechanical stirrers that churn the mixture into a thick, viscous paste. The temperature and mixing speed are tightly controlled to ensure a uniform chemical reaction. This slurry is now ready for a process known as spray drying, the beating heart of detergent production. The slurry is pumped into a spray drying tower, which can rise over five stories tall. At the top of this tower, the slurry is sprayed through fine nozzles, turning it into a mist of tiny droplets. Simultaneously, scorching hot air, over 400 degrees Celsius, is blasted through the tower. As the droplets fall through the hot air, the water inside them instantly evaporates, leaving behind fine, dry detergent powder particles. It's a spectacular sight, like snow falling inside a giant silo. What comes out at the bottom is the base detergent powder, dry and ready for further treatment. But the process doesn't stop there. This base powder is powerful, but plain. Now it's time for customization. The powder moves onto massive blending conveyors, where secondary ingredients are added. This includes perfumes for scent, color speckles for aesthetics, enzymes for biological stain removal, and optical brighteners to make clothes look whiter. These ingredients are dosed automatically by machines with precise accuracy. Too much fragrance can cause skin irritation, too little, and your detergent smells like chalk. The mixing itself is done in industrial ribbon blenders or paddle mixers, capable of blending tons of powder without damaging its texture. This step is crucial for even distribution. Every scoop taken from the final packet should deliver the same cleaning power. Once blended, the detergent passes through screening machines that remove any lumps or oversized particles. The goal is to ensure a soft, free-flowing consistency that dissolves easily in water. To help with this, factories often add anti-caking agents like sodium sulfate, preventing the powder from clumping up during storage. Next comes quality control testing. Random samples are collected from every batch and tested for moisture content cleaning performance on different fabrics, foam level and stability, fragrance intensity, shelf life, stability, skin safety, through dermatological testing. If the batch meets the factory's standards, it moves to the packaging section, another engineering marvel. The powder is fed into high-speed automated packing machines. These machines fill thousands of packets every hour. They can handle a wide range of sizes, from small 50-gram sachets to giant 10-kilogram bags for commercial use. The filling process is precise and fast. Powder is dispensed through vibrating funnels into open pouches, which are then heat-sealed, labeled, and coated with batch numbers and expiry dates. Some factories even use nitrogen flushing to remove oxygen from the packs, extending shelf life. The sealed packets are then automatically sorted, stacked, and packed into cartons using robotic arms. These cartons are palletized and shrink-wrapped, ready to be shipped across the country, 
or even overseas. In the warehouse, inventory management is handled through barcode tracking systems, ensuring that the right products reach the right retailers at the right time. Some factories ship out hundreds of tons of detergent daily to meet the non-stop demand. But behind all this automation is also a strong commitment to sustainability. Modern detergent factories use wastewater treatment plants to recycle process water. They minimize waste and reduce carbon emissions through energy-efficient boilers and solar panel installations. Many brands are now also switching to eco-friendly surfactants and biodegradable ingredients, responding to growing environmental concerns. What started as a slurry of chemicals has now become a soft, fragrant, and powerful powder, ready to tackle greasy kitchen towels, muddy jeans, and everything in between. Millions of households will open a packet, pour a scoop, and wash away the mess, without ever thinking about the science and engineering behind it. Yet inside these mega factories, every bag of detergent is the result of chemistry, precision, and high-speed automation working together. It's not just about cleaning clothes. It's about producing trust in powder form again and again on a massive scale. Enjoyed the process? Hit that like button, subscribe for more jaw-dropping factory tours, and tap the bell so you never miss what's made next.